In today's video, we're going to try and break the Formlabs Form 2. Let's get started. Welcome back to Maker's Muse, guys. So a little bit of a backstory. I've been using the Form 2 for the past month or so to kind of put together a very special project that you'll be seeing on the channel in a short period of time. But basically, in my use of printing on this machine, I have not had a single failure. Now, the review for the Form 2 will be coming out in a little bit, absolutely, but this is Maker's Muse, and I have a bit of a reputation for torturing and breaking 3D printers. So, what I wanted to try is to really stress test this machine. I wanted to put a file through it that would pretty much fail on almost any other machine that I would throw it at, and that would be this. This is the Snowflake Lattice that I uploaded at Christmas time on Patreon, and I'm actually gonna put a gum tree, uh, gum, no, gum, gum road link, that's the one, up here to download it for free. That you can download it and also torture test your machines. Basically, it's a take on the Lattice Cube I designed last year and put out into the community, but it's got a very tiny base that goes up into a patterned cube. It looks a bit like a snowflake and it was Christmas time, hence the Snowflake Lattice. But this file, is exceedingly difficult. I've printed it successfully before on the Cetus 3D in PLA. It took around 15 hours or so. But yeah, let's see how the Form 2 handles this insanely difficult file. So in Preform, the software that the Form 2 runs, basically I drop the file in and, well, it's uh, too big to fit. That's okay, let's scale it down. So I scale it down to fit the max build volume of the Form 2. And basically we're going against everything that you should be doing in the software. It does want you to do automatic supports and use the automatic orientation, which uh, actually works fantastically well. I mean, this is a file that's been done again for something that's coming up in a future video with automatic supports. This is all support generation to hold the part in place. But I wanted to try the torture test with no supports in its vertical orientation. You know, the overhangs are steep, but I feel considering I've done a smaller lattice cube on the Moai SLA, I feel that the Form 2 would handle that, but whether or not it handles the uh, Snowflake lattice, not sure, let's find out. So I did 0.1 millimeter layer heights and it estimated to take around four hours, which is actually quicker than an FDM printer would take. So that's pretty crazy. So let's see how it handles. Now I will warn you that this time lapse sucks because the Form 2 will withdraw from the the vat every layer so it looks kind of like it's having a seizure so I do apologize for that um, I'll just let it run for a bit but this is the snowflake that is printing on the form labs form 2 in their standard gray uh, UV curable resin and yeah it's not failing <laughs> it's not coming off the build plate and it's not catching on the wiper it's printing <sighs> it's not failing and there you go, the print finished successfully. How nuts is that? So the process of removing prints from the Form 2, you, um, you open it up and you get some gloves on because you don't want to touch the uncured UV uh, curable resin. Grab the part out and you put it into this special uh, post-processing bath of isopropyl alcohol. Um, don't do what I, I just did and make it fall on the floor with the spatula. Good thing the resin's actually quite tough. Anyway, put it in the bath and then you put it uh, somewhere to cure in a UV light source, either using a man-made light source for UV or just putting it out in the sun, as I can do here in Australia. And here's the result, guys. This is the Snowflake Lattice Cube printed on the Form Labs Form 2. 100 millimeter, uh, point, sorry, 0.1 millimeter layer heights, completely flawless. So what can I say? I can't break this machine. Um, unless I gave it a file that was literally unprintable on anything. As far as I can tell, the Form Labs Form 2 is so far living up to its price tag, and I'm really looking forward to printing a few more things on it and assessing it properly in my final review. So thanks for watching this video, guys, here on Maker's Muse. Um, yeah, I just had to see if I could make it fail, and it couldn't. So it's kind of a bittersweet end ending because I like pushing machines to the edge, um, and so far, it handled it. So if you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse, guys, and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. It helps us out a huge amount. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing, guys. Bye.